the San Francisco mom who is injecting her eight-year-old daughter with Botox to get rid of wrinkles. And she insists that she is not the only mom who's doing it. Lara Spencer spoke with the mom, Carrie, and her daughter, Brittany, in a GMA exclusive. And Lara joins us with that story. Hey, Lara. Yeah, shaking your head. It, it does sound unreal. A mother injecting her eight-year-old daughter with Botox to prevent wrinkles the little girl thinks she has. And it didn't stop there. The mother has also waxed her little girl's upper leg area to keep up in the intense world of kitty pageants. I sat down with eight-year-old Brittany and her mom to learn exactly how young is too young. I do it, but um, it hurts sometimes, but I get used to it. The pain eight-year-old Brittany describes doesn't come from falling off her bike or losing a tooth, but from this. Botox injections administered by your mother. Can you show me where you do it? Can you point on your face? Yeah, um, sometimes I do it right here. A little bit. Over. And what do you do it for? Um, I don't know. Well, do you do it because you see wrinkles? Or? Oh yeah, um, um, I see like wrinkles and um, it just like. I just, like, don't, like, think wrinkles are nice for little girls. Brittany's mother says she started giving the injections to keep up with the beauty-take-all world of the pageant circuit, an idea she says was planted by other pageant moms. And they were just telling me about the lines on her face and how, you know, a lot of the moms there, they're giving their kids Botox, and it's pretty much like the thing. I'm not the only one that does it. A lot of moms do it. And I think um, a lot of the kids making the big impression on the lines on her face and stuff like made her probably influence her to want to do it a little bit more. You're saying Brittany asked you for Botox? We talked about it. She didn't exactly ask me about it, but I know that she was complaining about her face having wrinkles and things like that. My son will come home and, you know, tell me he wants every Xbox game that existed. Right. That doesn't mean you get it for them. Right. I completely understand where you're coming from. Like I said, I do the Botox myself. It's safe. I have no problem with doing it. But you're 34. I mean, it's just, I'm just I've wondering. I've been doing it for a long time. So when you, you, you do it, you're, you're the, you administer it because you're an esthetician. Part time. Where do you get the Botox? Um, I'd rather not, like, put that out there. I do have a trusted source where I get it. He is um, behind the doctor scene and everything. These photos, taken during one of Britney's Botox treatments, capture just how uncomfortable an adult cosmetic procedure can be. So what does it feel like to get Botox? It hurts, and I get used to it, and... Do you cry? Mm -hmm. A little. You do. But now I don't. Now you're brave. When I first hear this story, I think my initial reaction is to be a little bit in disbelief and a little bit horrified. Critics like Dr. Charles Sophie argue that the potential side effects of Britney's Botox treatments are more than just physical. There's a lot of psychological damage that can be caused, and that's where the psychological intervention needs to happen to be able to make sure that there are no blurred boundaries here and projections going on that are going to have longer psychological ramifications for this child. I just feel like there's a loss of innocence in many people's eyes. You know, when, when the little kid is worried about about the way they look and not about sort of, you know, if it's sunny enough to play outside. Yeah, it's not all the time. Like she said, when she goes to wash her hands, she'll look in the mirror and she'll be like, Mommy, I have a wrinkle. It's a tough world in the pageant world, I'm telling you. The kids are harsh and being confident is something that she has to be with them. No, but if, if, if pageant kids start, you know, getting lobotomies, does no, that mean that Brittany's going to? No, that's nonsense. But Brittany did try out another pageant trend, waxing. It was um, super, super hard yeah. to deal with that. So why did you want to get waxed? Because it, I just don't think it's ladylike to have hair on your legs. Even when you're only eight? Yeah. Will you do it again? No. You'll wait on that one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can relate. So in the end, a single question, first to a mother Botox. and then to an eight-year-old little girl. Do you see a difference in the way she looks after she gets it? Um, just on the lines, like when she does her smile, she has lines, and the few times that we did it, there was, it would lessen the lines. They want it completely disappear. She's a kid, they're not gonna complete, and we don't do so much to where it's gonna make a big difference anyways. Yeah. Does it look better after you get Botox? Yeah, it How? looks way better. How? Like, 
beautiful, pretty, like all those kind of nice words. And according to our Dr. Besser, it is legal for a doctor to administer Botox to children. It can actually help with neuromuscular disorders. But Dr. Besser says a doctor giving Botox to a child for wrinkles borders on malpractice and a parent doing it to their child, even worse. So, Which is why the mom did not want to tell you where she got uh, the Botox. But boy, you, you, you watched that and you controlled yourself while you were talking to her. It's, it's hard not to get so angry giving the message that, that that's being sent there. It was uh, very difficult as a mom to have that conversation. And she was unapologetic. She wanted to get her side of the story out there. She said the pageant world is tough and this is the latest example and just how far parents will go. And she tried to justify it by saying, well, other parents are doing it, so I'm doing something that other, that's the justification. Right. And, I, and, and as you said, you know, I asked her, Did, do you see a difference? Yeah. And, and she said, yeah, and the lines you said as They're the piece dimples. was airing, those are They're called dimples. dimples. She's eight years Those are old. called wow. dimples. Yeah. And, and it's a slippery slope, you know, so I'm sure a lot of our viewers will have a yeah, lot to say I, about this. I can't believe there's a debate about this, but we do want to hear what you have to say Thanks, on man. abcnews.com. Thanks a lot, Larry. You can have a lot more on this on Nightline tonight. Yes. Okay.